All right, um, number 12A, um, the Pennsylvania Railroad Diesel Electric Road Locomotive is operating instruction for locomotive engine men, firemen, and helpers, 1949. Um, scan OCR conversion with the Rob Sch Schoenberg, 2002. No, this document has not been thoroughly proofread. Um, all right, the Pennsylvania Eastern Central Region, Western Region, Diesel Electric uh, Road Locomotives Operating Instruction for Qualifying Locomotive Crews, General Interest Notice. The instruction contained herein have been compiled with the view of the establishing uniform method of the instruction and examination rating of the diesel electric locomotive engineer and fireman helpers who will be required to pass examination on these instructions obtained not less than a minimum rating. HLN Nancro, uh, Nancaro, WW Patchell, JP Newell, um, approved by HT Cover. All right, general notice, general description, section one, general all locomotives, the arrangement, classification, diesel engine, electrical power system, compressed air system, air brake system, firefighting system, locomotive operation, indication, result, abnormal condition, section two, oil fired steam, generator description, operation, section three, class EP3, locomotive, general data, diesel engine, electrical power system, compressed air system, operation, section four, class BMP, um, Sorry, BP-1, Locomotive General Data, Diesel Engine, Electrical Power System, Compressed Air System, and Operation. Section 5, AP-3, Locomotive General Data, Diesel Engine, Electrical Power System, Compressed Air System, Operation. Section 6, BP-3, Locomotive General Data, Diesel Engine, Electrical Power System, Compressed Air System, Operation. Section 7, Class FP-3, Locomotive General Data, Diesel Engine, Electrical Power System, Compressed Air System, Operation. Section 8, EF4, F e F Locomotive General Data, Diesel Engine, Electrical Power System, Compressed Air System, Operation. Section 9, Class FF-3, Locomotive General Data, Diesel Engine, Electrical Power System, Compressed Air System, Operation. Section 10, um, Section 10, Class AF4, Locomotive General Data, Diesel Engine, Electrical Power System, Compressed Air System, Operation. Section 11, Class BF4, Locomotive General Data, Engine, um, data, general data, diesel engine, electric power system, compressed air system operation. All right, general description, section 4, number 12, 8, June 4th, 1949, general description. Restrictions set forth here and include the general section designated in section 1 containing the descriptive information operating the instruction applicable for the all class of the diesel electric road locomotive the steam generator section J design. As section 2 containing the descriptive information operating instruction for the steam generator on classes so equipped. The supplemental um, section of each of the uh, diesel electric road locomotives indicated with the index provides additional description information operating instruction required for that class of locomotive. Engineman firemen helpers will be furnished with a copy of the instruction diesel and local electrical road locomotive. They must be avail themselves on the, the facility provided in order to receive the instruction. Must continue to study out subjects as outlined in the instruction to become well informed. Must pass the required examination. All right, diesel electric road locomotives operating instruction section one arrangement and classification. Diesel electric locomotive with locomotive propelled with electrical traction motor gear with the drive and axle the power of which supplied by one or more electrical generators driven by one or more diesel engine locomotive uh, located on the locomotive. When the diesel electric locomotive throttle is open with the main generator of the commonly automatically trans tra traction motor with electrical power flow with the motors to move the locomotive. As the throttle is open wired with the diesel engine speed up deliver more of the mechanical power to the main generator thus more electric is powered in the generator the tra for the traction motor. When the throttle is wide open, the diesel engine runs at a maximum speed and the power output of the main generator regulates itself so that the traction motors are supplied with the horse required horsepower up to the maximum rating of the combination of speed and train load. Locomotive consists of one of the unit or two or more oper units operating with a multiple. When one uh, when operating a multiple, several units are under the control of the one operating cab. Locomotive units with the operating cabs are designed as the A units. Those with operating cabs as B units. Uh, control stations provided with the B units from the unit may be operated with independently from hosteling. There be, may be two operating cabs with a complete locomotive with one each of them, so the locomotive may be operated with either direction without turning. Classification U for the diesel electric road locomotive the designation class for locomotive 2 initiating letters followed by the number of the first letter designated with the manufacturer of the diesel engine, second letter for the service passenger of the freight, and the following number designated for the number of the combustible units making the com complete locomotive. Thus, the road passenger locomotive, the AEP-3, with the three units of the electric motor division of the General Motors Corps, BP-1 stands for two, um, two semi-permanently connected with the Baldwin Locomotive Works. AP-3, three units of American Locomotive Company. B, um, BP-3 stands for three units of Baldwin Locomotive Works. F stands for the, their units of the Fairborn's Morris Company. Similarly, the road freight locomotives are EF-4, with the four units of the electric motor division of the General Motors. 
FF, three units of the Verbank Morris Company. EAF, four, four units of the American Locomotive Company. BF, four for the units of Baldwin, Baldwin Locomotive of the Works. The nominal rating for all the various classes within these electric road locomotives is on the 6,000 diesel engine horsepower. The EP3 with the BP3 passenger locomotive, they're made up of the two of, of two A units and one B unit. Each containing um, two 100,000 horsepower and diesel engine with two, three axle and tracks, axle track trucks under each of the unit. Um, the BP-1 locomotive consists of two semi-permanently connected with the A unit for the, each for the containing with the two 15 horsepower um, diesel engines hanging articulated with the mainframe with eight driving axles, two four-wheel guiding trucks. The AP-3 and the FP-3 locomotives consist of two A units and one B unit, and each of the unit containing 2,000 horsepower diesel engine with the two three-axle trucks under each of the unit. The E-4, A-4, A-4 locomotives are made up of two A units and two B units, each containing the um, one um, 15 horsepower di- uh, or 1,500 horsepower diesel engine with the two a- two two-axle trucks under each unit. The FF-3 locomotives are made up of two A units and one B unit, each with the containing the 2,000 horsepower diesel engine with two three-axle Axle trucks under each of the unit. The front end of the locomotive unit is designated by the letter F painted on each side. The A unit is the operating cab is the front end. The right and left side of the locomotive unit is designated with the right and left hands when the locomotive of the unit facing the front end. The holster operating the position of the B unit is in on the right side of the unit. Truck, axles, traction motor, diesel engine from the unit, the number consecutively being the number one and front end of the unit. Diesel engine. Being the name of the inventor of the R- Dr. Rudolph Diesel, the diesel is all internal combustion, combustion, ignition, fuel, oil, burning engine. Internal combustion engine only one that derives the power for the burning of the charging full inside of the cylinder. Fuel is then sprayed into the cylinder with the diesel engine thoroughly with mechanical pressure. Operative fuel injectors. <laughs> Um, compression ignition means for the charging of the fuel with igniting with the coming in contact with the highly compressed hence with the highly heated air of the combustion chamber of the cylinder. This is main distinguishing between for, between diesel and other internal combustion engines where the ignition is achieved by the use of the electrical spark with the hot spot. Diesel engine and internal combustion engines in general are divided in two main groups. The, the two cycle and the four cycle. The engines of the two and four designate the number of the strokes of piston necessary to do a complete a cycle with the operation of the cylinder. The cylinder cycle is being the intake with the compression power of the exhaust events but not both non-supercharged normally aspirated supercharged engines are in use today non-supercharged engines intake air induced with the cylinders and prevailing atmospheric pressure and supercharged engine intake of this air forced into the cylinders by the intake of the air pump supercharger a supercharger used in internal combustion engine is the way a mechanical device applying the engine with a greater weight with the volume intake that would normally be introduced induced by prevailing atmospheric pressure it may be either mechanically driven or powered by the exhaust gas driven the turbine and built integral with the supercharger later argumented with being known as the Turbo turbo supercharger. The increased amount of intake air to uh, induce the um, supercharging increase the power that can be obtained with the given size of the cylinder, causing the more complete combustion of the fuel chamber with a proportionate increase of the power output. Diesel engine governor. The governor is the speed sensor the device primarily used for the control of the limit of the speed of the engine with the use of the diesel engine locomotive serve the measure with the rotative speed of the engine through direct mechanical connection with the engine through an electrical connection with the tachometer generator driven by the engine is function with the control speed of the engine at a settling determined most by the position of the throttle lever where the engine man control stands. The engine man throttle lever is connected with the, into the governor in the one of several ways as follows. By direct mechanical linkage with the governor control shaft by electrical connection with the pneumatic hydraulic mechanical Mechanism, which may either be mechanically connected with the governor control shaft built integral with the governor. Three, by straight pneumatic connection to the air actuator, which was mechanically linked with the governor control shaft. Um, the governor, in all cases, is mechanically connected with the fuel injection system with the engine so that it would vary in amount of the fuel injected with the cylinders. Under certain conditions, such as a sudden loss of electrical load caused by the wheel slippage ground relay tripping, the governor may fail to limit the engine to its maximum speed. All diesel, en- diesel engines and the locomotive service are provided with the overspeed with the stop mechanism will automatically shut down the engine down um, should the uh, speed um, approximately 10% of the above the maximum governor speed. The overspeed stop um, device may be functioned through an electrical connection to the governor through the direct mechanical connection to the engine. The diesel engine cooling system. The water in the air circulating with the cooling system is designed to carry the wave that disperses the excess of the heat generated inside the engine. The system consists of expansion storage water tank of the water circulating pump that usually mounted on or driven by the engine circulating passages. Jackets in the engine with the radiator through the air with drawn with the mechanically motor drawn fan for the uh, motor driven fan flown. Flow of the air began from through further control by the shutters and the necessary pipe gauge to valve fittings and venting of the drain connectors. Diesel engine lubricating oil system. 
All right, the lubricating oil circulating system is designed to supply the lubricating oil under the pressure of various working parts for the engine and associated equipment. The elements of the pressure lubrication system are a storage space of the fuel oil positive displacement, suction pressure, circulating mount, pump, mount of the driven and driven by the engine strainer and the filter units and the head passenger for the end the engine of the oil cooler with the necessary piping valves, gauge filling, and draining connections. Diesel engine fuel oil system. The system is designed to supply the fuel oil with under the pressure of the individual engine cylinders. The system contains a fuel supply tank with the fuel transfer pump with electrical driven the fuel injection pump with the injectors, the filter unit for the necessary piping, the valve gauge the filling, venting, and the drain connection of the fuel system on each of the unit. The locomotive is equipped with the emergency fuel cutoff located with the suction line between the fuel supply supply pump and some fuel transfer pump. The fuel uh, the valve is then uh, tripped into the cable connection to the pump the hone and all the various locations of the unit with the trip that may be reset manually to the open position to reset the emergency fuel cut off the raid for the valve stem slip crutch crutch under the stem to hold the valve open electrical power system Our electrical power system. Diesel for the diesel electrical one of the each for the room in the main direct current with the direct connected with the crane shaft with the engine electrical power with the generator to transmit the electrical cable driven the traction motor which are here with the driven axle with the cable is provided with the main to carry out the current flow with the generator with the motors or is the return of this generator. The path of this flow is known as the circuit of the diesel electrical locomotive is completed with the return through the locomotive frame in the ground with thus known but this is the underground circuit of the ground should occur today to the failed insulation um Failure of insulation in the cable electrical apparatus for the connected with the circuit of serious damage may result in the product again such damage the ground relay product will give an alarm in the case of removing removes electrical power from the circuit of the bolt of the connection of the power circuit from the main generator but the traction motor is made through power switches operated by the air and electrically such power switches are known as contactors. In starting the train, high pulling, high pulling, pop pulling power of the tractive effort is required for the electrical motor mechanical force proportional to the current amperage. The starting with the high current is required for the standstill. Low voltage sufficient to produce the higher current of the motor in the motor so that the low generator voltage, low generator speed are used. As locomotive speeds, consequently, the motor speed increased with the higher voltage necessary to produce the required current with the motor that's described in the counter voltage. Um, generated internally with the motors, consequently the generator of the voltage must be increased with the increasing in the speed. If the, if the higher current is to be maintained, the speed of the diesel engine the main generator is controlled with the throttle level of the governor and the diesel engine is spread up with the voltage of the generator increased with the maximum about 100,000, 1,000 volts. If the current amper drops rapidly after the initial acceleration of the train for any throttle position, at any, for any throttle position, the full throttle current continues to drop as long as the train is accelerating increasing speed. For the given engine speed, the main generator is regulated with the reduce the substantial Substantially contained with the maximum power output under the condition of the constant power output, the product of the traffic at the time speed with the constant for all the speeds. In other words, the speed increases the pulling power with the decreases accordingly in the same way the product of the generator voltage to amperes and constant for all the amperes of the train speed increase with the current decrease of the voltage must increase the accordingly. After the main generator has reached the maximum rated voltage power with the speed of the train continues to increase the current will continue to fall off thus the power output, which is the product of the current time of the voltage that will decrease under these conditions the full output of the diesel engine is no longer being utilized. Full output can however can be a, again put into the use the, uh, by two different methods. One method is traction motor Churning and the other is changing the connection for the traction motor to the main generator of the series of parallel. The action making these changes include transition. Transition. Transition is accomplished automatically on some locomotives that can be controlled limited to them manually. On other locomotives by the transition lever, which is located on the control stand along with the throttle lever and the reverse lever. As starting at the lower speed with the traction motor fed by one of the main generator being connected within series of the series parallel with the current flow through the first through the one motor for the pair of the motors. Then, then through the other motor with the pair motor, but then this way the current voltage is generally an internal with the tracks motors or the end. It also serves all together with the double main generator voltage required for the cause of the current flow, as would be required with the one motor connected with the generator. If, however, the transition parallel connection is made with the higher speed is done on the same class of locomotive, that is, the motor is reconnected with the generator, the current divides equally, flows through the mo all motors in parallel. The current voltage generated in the motors are not to get added together. The current will flow for the each of the motor as though it alone with the connected with the generator. Under this condition, the same main generator voltage will produce twice the current flow per, per traction motor as the series of the series of parallel connects to the same maximum generator voltage will produce twice the motor current with the representative of the track effort pulling power of the fuel utilization engine output can be obtained with the higher and speed of the transition of the parallel connection motors the second of the form of the transition will obtain all the locomotives known as the traction motor field shown in the traction motor with the series of the series type of the same current flows through the motor armature with the winding of the rotating portion of the motor field with the winding of the stationary portion in series the speed of the transaction traction motor with the less the locomotive 
signals can be increased by the pad bypassing some of the current by the motor field winding through resistance will permit the greater current of the flow with the motor armature winding with reducing the backflow voltage back generated by the motor must thus similarly to the transition parallel connection it will permit the same maximum main general voltage to produce more current through the traction motor permanent fuel or use of the engine output field shutting can be accomplished when the number of the steps is used on some of the locomotives it can also be done with a series and series parallel and full parallel operation is also used higher speeds of given motor connection reversing um, the direction in which the DC motor rotates determines the relative direction in which the current flows through the armature winding of the field winding. Of the, if the current is reversed through the one, of the one or other motor while the turning in the opposite direction, if the hour of the bolt are reversed, there will be no change in the direction of the rotation of the motor, although either can be done. The traction motor is usually reversed by reversing the field winding as a connection. The reverse switches will accomplish this air with the, with the reverse lever on the control stand. The motors must not, and under any conditions, be reversed while in motion. Low, load control. Control power output with the main generator so the diesel engine will not slow down below the speed of the determined but the throttle lever position and known as the load control is power that is generated is required given throttle position and speed governor on the diesel engine emits more fuel the, um, until the predetermined fuel limit of the engine is reached for the power requirement the increase the beyond but the point of the diesel engine will be unable to maintain its speed. However, at this point, the load, con load control will automatically reduce the power output with the generator, thus permitting the diesel engine to run for the normal speed they accomplish by the reducing the current known as the exciting current with the road the main field winding of the generator the turn reduces the voltage generated by the main generator and the current of the power to output. Dynamic braking is the means of retarding the train while which can be used with the locomotive propelled with the electrical motor of the traction motor that connected with the as a generator operated with the engineering engine energy of the moving train. A diesel electric locomotive with having the dynamic braking electrical energy it produced with the dissipated as the heat of the bank of the resistance called grid dynamic braking is effective with the of course only of the wheels of the locomotive which have the traction motor in the same care should be shown should be used to applying the dynamic braking using the independent brake on the local is as in using the independent brake of the local on the locomotive. Independent air brake and the dynamic brake must not be used be, be both used at the same time the driving wheels may be slide. Um Driving, dynamic braking accomplished by the actuating switch with the connecting the traction motor armature windings to the grid and by the applying of the current with the traction motor field windings from the main generator to the generator, the greater the current applied with the field windings, the greater the bank and braking current um, generated by the traction motor. As the locomotive slow down with the slower speed of the traction motor reduces the amount of the power generated, consequently the braking effort of the dynamic brake decreases so that it is not practical to stop the train with the, dy with the dynamic brake in order to prevent overloading with the traction motor. The dynamic brake must be limited to the amount of current which can be carried safely by the motors, if not possible to hold the train in the desired speed means of the dynamic braking, the automatic air brake may be applied in conjunction with the dynamic braking, keeping off the locomotive brakes on class with the having the dynamic brake, which is the transition lever. It uses the amount of the dynamic braking power is controlled by the position braking range of the transition lever, and which no, no, other, no transition lever is provided with the reverse lever of the dynamic braking lever. The position and brake power is controlled by the throttle lever. Control system. The local the power circuit of the diesel engine main generator circuit of the electrically independent each for the other each for the unit of the locomotive with the same unit but the more than one diesel engine main generator located on one unit. Since however they must be all controlled with the one location on the locomotive, they are all connected by the multiple unit control system. The system permits the control engine you know, of the engine speed with all engines by throttle level the control stand forward reverse operation of the locomotive but the reverse lever on the control stand is stopping the only the diesel engine for the on the locomotive if the required for the operating power circuit of the transition were paying manually connected or manually controlled transition lever on the control stand with the operating control dynamic braking on all units where the locomotives are equipped on locomotives equipped with the steam heat generators a panel located on the fireman's position it contains the control shutting of the steam line with the valve with the all steam generators also operating with the steam generator separated blow down valves the control system in your drive with a normally 64 volt battery that consist um, circuit consisting of a 32 bat cell battery with each of the unit charged with an auxiliary generator with the control switch of the engine man position and close the established power with the control stand is the location of some of the locomotive fuel pump and generator field with the switch so you use it because it should also be closed for the engine man location before the control is established operating end of the locomotive. All locomotives have the engine man's position loaded indicated by the ammeters given the amount of electrical current passing through the motors in order to prevent overheating and damage electrical equipment that must be used the guide in the operating of the throttle lever, the transition lever during the running of the during the braking of the dynamic is used. Auxiliary power system. All diesel engine locomotives are equipped with the auxiliary generator driven by the diesel engine. The generator should be used with the storage battery to supply the low voltage power to the auxiliary control operator for the diesel engine running. 
On some class, the locomotive with the traction motor below of the controlling of the traction motor with the motor driven by the power of the main generator separated blower generators. On other class, the traction motor blowers are driven mechanically connected with the diesel engine crankshaft. On some locomotives, alternating current with the alternation alternator driven by the diesel engine supply power of the traction motor blower. It's also the engine with the radiator cooling the fan motors. On other classes, locomotive the engine radiator, radiator cooling fan or motor operated with the power of the main gen- by the, from the main generator fan blower and or mechanically driven the diesel engine. The traction motor will be overheated seriously the damage the locomotive continued to another low load with blowers inoperative. In addition with the fans of the engine radiator cooling of the blower, the traction motor cooling fans that are equipped with the cooling of the grids used to dissipate the electrical energy with dynamic braking used for the lands are operated with the banking connection across the portion of the brake grids, thus seeing, using some of the power generated the brake to operate the fans while the arrangement of the fans operating only with the dynamic braking and the operation fan speed depends on the o- upon the braking current. On all diesel locomotives, the fuel transfer pump that each of the diesel engine motor driven the battery auxiliary generated circuit where the fuel pressure always available to the diesel engine is to be started with the prompt shut off that can be obtained with the desire the current supply of the excite with the main generator field winding taking the auxiliary generator battery circuit on the sum of the locomotives from separate exciter generated driven by the diesel engine lighting in the battery system. All locomotive units have 32 cells and only 64 volt storage battery. On the One of the principal functions of the battery is to crank the diesel engine. Each of the engine locomotives is started individually with the starting controls located on a panel nearby the engine after the engine start the control that may be stopped from the engine main location starting up the must however be done with the individual engine the um, battery charge with the auxiliary generated generators on the one unit of the charging voltage control with the voltage regulator to maintain the constant voltage approximately 74 volts when the engine is not running at the speed too low to give the sufficient auxiliary generator voltage to charge the battery with reverse current relay only open for the connection to the battery to prevent the battery discharging the auxiliary generator the battery is used for the lights of the operating cab of the engine room that provides the power for the control indication of the circuit for the locomotive. The locomotive is equipped with the motor generator set on the A units will provide with the well regulated supply of 32 volts for the operating of the train phone equipment and cab signals. This is set operated with the battery power with 32 volt output with the generator is used for the operator with the headlight of the locomotive. The battery circuits generally have the fuse to protect against the overload short circuits. In some cases, the thermal overload circuits and breakers are be used in places of fuse. They may be reset but after tripping and opening. And the main battery switching is provided with a disconnect of the battery from the circuit and the unit is shut down. Compressed air system. Each diesel engine is directed with a two, um, connected with a two, um, two-stage air compressor which is taken from the out, um, air from the atmosphere and delivers it under the pressure of the main reserve when the air is stored and cools in which the moisture contained with the air can then from the water from where they readily drain before the engine for the various operations of the air system. Air from the main reserve is piped with the air brake system, the air control system, the other air operated with the use devices used throughout the locomotive with the main reserve is connected by the unit's flexible hose. Connections so that they combine air capacity with the several air compressors as well as combined volumes of the several main reserves of air, uh, air available throughout the entire locomotive. Air compressors, several types and size of the air compressors are used with the size depending on the rotary, rotative size of the speed of the diesel engine and the number of each for the unit. The two and three cylinder compressors are used. Two cylinder compressors have only one low, one low pressure, one high pressure. The three cylinder compressors have two low pressure cylinders, one high cylinder pressure cylinder. In either case, the rotating, in, rotating rot- radiator type of the inco- intercooler is located between the low and high pressure. Cylinders cooling the air, the self-contained lubricating oil system lubricates the compressor from the supplying of the oil carried within the air compressor crankcase. Air compressor governor, the main reserve pressure is controlled by the governor system of the loading and the unloading control of the type of the system is necessi- necessity uh, in the continuously running of the air compressor for the all time of the diesel engine that are running. The governors are electrically controlled, the synchronized between the several locomotive units that maintain the main reserve pressure between 125 to 140 pound safety valves, provided to prevent excessive main reserve of the pressure of the governor and control the defect of the cutout. Air control system. The air pressure of the um, used for the operating electrical contact of reversers and controlling the rotative speed of the diesel engine on some of the classes supplied with the main reserve throughout the reducing valve control reservoir on each of the unit. The control air pressure of the maintained from 70 to 80 pounds pressure reducing the valves on some class of locomotives. Control air pressure is used for operating with the cooling system of the radiator shutters. Use the main reserve pressure. The main reserve pressure is used for the operation of the cooling system, radiator, shutter fans on the same class, locomotive bell horns, wind wipers, sanders, or operating the air, 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 at the air main reserve pressure. Um, on units equipped with the steam generator, the atomization supply with the main reserve throughout the separate reducing valve sets at 70 pounds. The operating communication signal whistle cap, the signal warning whistle supply with the main reserve throughout the reducing valve is set at 45 pounds. The air system includes the various filters to clean the air and a number of the cox valves and shutting lo- off local air supply when the necessary drain system when required. 
The air brake system, the 24RL locomotive brake equipment is used only on the all class for the, uh, used on all class for the low diesel electric load lo road locomotives. The only difference between the classes between the passenger class locomotive with equipped with electro pneumatic operations well, the pneumatic operation. Um, while the freight class locomotives are equipped with pneumatic operation only, the equipment includes the, on each A unit the automatic brake and automatic brake valve, the DSH 24H passenger to D, and the DSH 24H for the freight, with the means of which the brake system and locomotive with the train is charged with control. Independent brake valve, the S40 and D for the passenger and S40F for the for freight, with the means the, um, designed with the locomotive, the brakes may be controlled with the independently trained uh, of the train brakes. Combined equalization, reducing limiting res reservoir for the service of the first service, the reduction of the brake pipe pressure. Rotor valve to the type K2 and K2A for the cutting of the independent brake valve A of all on all A units except for the one in which the locomotive is being operated, selecting the emergency brake cylinder pressure development required for the type of the length of the train handled. The K2 rotary valve of the three position passenger lap of the train should be in the lap position on all and A units except for the cab of which the locomotive is being operated with is, should be set in passenger position for non controlled emergency brake cylinder with the development and freight for position controlled and emergency brake cylinder development with the K2 rotary valve that is used with the control emergency pipe with the connection between the units. K2A rotary valve that has four position passenger, passenger lap, freight lap, and the freight for eight. They should be the passenger lap with the freight lap on all A units except in the cab with which the locomotive is operated, which shall be in the passenger or freight position with the passenger or pa passenger lap, not controlled development, emergency brake with the cylinders obtained with the, the freight, freight and lap controlled development, emergency brake cylinders pressure is obtained. When the K2 valve with the freight position controlled emergency in the entire locomotive with nullified placement with the independent brake valve with the application to the position during the emergency application between the K2A valve with the freight position only with the unit with the when the locomotive is being operated with can be controlled the emergency application nullified. Electro pneumatic master control operators under the control of the automatic brake valve during the electro pneumatic application of the brake and inject with the proper magnet um, valve with the 21B magnet valve. The 21B magnet valve contains application magnet valve with the release of the magnet valve with the cutoff valve. The magnet valve controls uh, straight air pressure under the control of the master control. The D4 control valve, the operator with the control application relief of the locomotive brakes, the dead engine cock with the control valve with normally live position provided to the change in charge of the main reserve of the brake pipe will be placed in the dead position. Relay valves control the flow of the air into the brake cylinder to apply the release of the brakes. The combined displacement auxiliary and emergency reserve reservoir is the control of the valve of the synchronized locomotive brake cylinder. The pressure development and while the one of strain during the service application to provide high brake cylinder pressure during the emergency applications. The H5A relay valve causes automatic sailing during the emergency application. The valve, the va um, various valves, the cocks, piping, the means of the flow of the air can be cut off when required the brake. The brake equipment on the B unit includes the control valve with the main, uh, combined with the displacement auxiliary emergency with um, the relay valve the uh, control the emergency cock on the control valve selected with the type of the brake and cylinder pressure is developing according with the position control the emergency cock with the three position P for passenger non controlled L for lap and the F for the freight for the control the emergency. B units equipped with a hostile brake valve the means for the unit brakes over the unit control with the necessary to move the unit alone with reducing the valve adjustment of the brake pipe pressure for the furnish into the air to the brake pipe with the release of the automatic brake application the cuticle cut out cocks under the under holster brake valve the other and reducing valve pipe connection um, to the brake pipe must be open to permit the control of the holster brake valve. All right, 10 minute overspeed um, safety control feature for including the reduce of the power of the diesel engine and apply with the brakes to the surface of the engine to be as being in a cast capacitative or maximum permissible speed be exceeded. The equipment comprising with the safety control feature include the double heading cock which cuts out the same safety control feature for the trailing caps which is closed in the number two position. The service application of the portion of the automatic brake valve, which for the actuated initiate with the service application of the brakes, the safety control check of the operator with the depressing automatic brake valve handle to suppress the dead man app the application. A diaphragm foot valve with a pedal which, which when, when held down suppresses the dead man application a warning whistle, which will sound with a limited time before the safety control application occurs shall be both automatic brake valve handle and diaphragm foot valve pedal by be released with a dead press of the position little or no brake cylinder pressure present. The H24 relay air valve that operates for the suppressed safety control application about 30 pounds of the brake cylinder pressure exists in the HZ4 relay air valve as provision for in some classes it includes the application ensuring the feature overspeed application feature overspeed suppression feature. An overspeed magnet valve, which means they, which must be electrically energized to suppress safety control application when the brakes are released. A whistle is provided with this will blow whenever the magnet valve is de-energized. Safety control cutout 
Um, safety control cock. Normally see the seal with an open position located with the service application portion of the brake valve closing the cutout cock for the safety control features. Cutout cock. Normally seal with an open position located on, on, in the pipe in between the diaphragm foot valve with the H24 relay re air valve for the closing of the cutout cock for the dead man mate feature. The cutout cock normally sheep in the open position located with the pipe and the overspeed magnet valve with the brake valve with the closing of the cutout cocks of the overspeed safety control. Emergency application of the brakes of the any car of the uh, safety control application operates pneumatically controlled safety for which to remove the power of the traction motor required the throttle play lever to be placed in the idle position before the power can be reapplied. The firefighting system, the system is arrangement equipment with the detecting and distinguishing any fire is likely to occur with the bio uh, locomotive. The fire detecting system consists of the electrical thermostat mounted in strategic, strategic points each of the locomotive. The control and active of the parallel relay warning device in each of the operating cab. Excess temperature condition will be caught with one or more of the thermostats enclosed with the contact energizing the relays which operates the warning device. The fire extinguisher consists of the two set of the two 50 pound capacity carbon dioxide cylinders installed at each of the engine room, two hose stations, and each side of the each of the locomotive unit, one near the front, one near the rear of the each of the side two remote control pull boxes mounted near the each of the hose station connected by the flexible steel cables on the to the control handle heads of the cylinder one box mounted inside of the unit near the holes ra hose racks and one outside within the reach of the ground the two set of cylinders each look another unit with the cross connected with the viping and so that one acts as the reserve for the other the cylinders are connected to the hose station pipe in which the installed just the head of each of the hose normally closed with a quick action direction valve which must be opened before the respective hose can be used uh, on a fire each hose station is equipped with a 50-foot flexible hose complete with a discharge horn squeeze with a grip to discharge valve. The pull boxes are so connected that the two sets of cylinders each of the locomotive of the unit both set and can be operated with either side of the unit. The system and each of the locomotive are, uh, unit are equipped with means of a flexible connection so that sole carbon dioxide supply each of the unit can be used with a reverse supply for each other. Operating instruction, uh, instruction for the carbon dioxide or the CO2 CO2 system. Open pull box, pull handle um, pull handle hard with this release of the carbon dioxide with the bolt cylinders in one set. Throw the lever to the quickening action directing the valve of the piping adjacent to the hose rack. This fills the hose with carbon dioxide. Run the discharge hose to the fire. Squeeze the valve lever to the discharge warm to release the carbon dioxide. Disconnect the direct the discharge at the base of the flame. Additional carbon dioxide is required to operating pull box for other side of the cylinders and units. To obtain the carbon, uh, carbon dioxide with the cylinder joining the unit, the throw lever of the direction the valve with above the door and end of the joint, the discharge of the cylinder is required with the joining the following the instruction of one and two above that any of the fire has been extinguished required turn all the direction valve to closed position, bleed the hose line, the gas squeeze with the valve lever of the discharge horn. Carbon dioxide is a non-conductor uh, non of electricity, which makes it desirable to combating electrical fires and non-poisonous. However, it does not carry oxygen in any form of sustaining human life. Whenever any of the questions amount of the carbon dioxide in the confined space, when it, whether a fire, uh, fire has been extinguished, care should be exercised before entering the space so that it is completely ventilated. Any anyone overcoming the carbon dioxide should be moved quickly in the fresh and artificial respiration applied. The carbon dioxide system that aids the local of the unit was supplemented with the two thirty pound Duke Douglas hand extinguishers primarily for these fires outside not to be used the inside unless the fire is not extinguished by the carbon dioxide system. Our procedures in case of a fire. If the fire alarm is received, the lighter bell or bowl to stop all the diesel engine operating emergency engine to stop the engine position, stop all the fuel pumps operating by opening the fuel pump push, push button switch and circuit breaker to the uh, engine man's position on the class that was equipped. B. Investigate. If the fire is discovered to stop the engine fuel pump that is not already done, make the full service application of the brakes. If not already done, pull the emergency full cut off of the unit units involved. You, um, C. You the fire equipment that is followed to run the gear beneath the cab of the use of the Doug in his hand extinguisher. Traction motor use the carbon dioxide to CO2 hose system. Locomotive interior they use the carbon dioxide CO2 hose system. In the event of the extinguisher failed with the carbon um, because of the exhausted before the fire extinguisher, use any of the extinguisher at any location. No fire hazard. When continued operation of the diesel engine steam generators, the apparatus would constitute with the fire hazard due to the fuel oil leaks. Other reason the apparatus must be shut down until the hazard condition is corrected. Locomotive operation inspection. When taking charge of the locomotive through the inspection should be made with the entire locomotive to determine if any one of the working on and about um, locomotive, if any of the equipment is missing under the repairs, any tools or equipment that has been left there near the operating parts. 
If the locomotive consists of several units, you can see that all the electrical jump um, jumpers properly connected between the um, units. See all the air hoses connected between the units and cocks open. On passing the locomotive, see that the heat continues to um, connect the, between the use of the proper made with the valves opening. And each of the units, you check the fuel oil level, lubricating oil level, uh, cooling water level, steam generator water supply tank, set the drains and close for the and the air reserve cooling water system lubrication oil system. See that all side of the connection, steam, fuel, water, electrical are disconnected clear of the locomotive. Preparing, preparation for service. In preparing the locomotive for the surface to see the battery switches that close on each of the unit to check for the several lights for the circuit to see that they operate properly. If the engine position with the cap of the control unit with note that the throttle level in the idle position, reverse level in the off position, transition level where in the off position, close with the control switch, the fuel pump switch when provided with the leaving generator field switch open, class is so equipped so that the automatic brake valve handle in the running position, double head and cock open, see the independent brake valve oval, handle in the fuel application position, rotary valve, the air position, passenger position, only are the units the close to the switch, is on distribution panel, note of all the fuses are in place with the class is so equipped to close that all circuit breakers on the contractor compartment can, um, panel. An engine man position, engine control, um, cab trailing, uh, trailing unit with note, the tra um, throttle with the lever is in the idle position, lever the reverse lever in the off position, the handle to remove the transition lever when you use it in the off position, so the automatic brake valve handle is to remove the running position, double head and cock closed, see that the independent brake valve handle is to remove the release in the running position, the rotary valve in the passenger lap of the lap position, see the control switch open with the unclosed and equip, so that the fuel pump generator field switches are open, start the engine, diesel engine from the engine for the control panel, note that the proper lubricating oil pressure is tamed, after which isolation switch is should be closed and then run on runner on position. All right, charge the um, check for the charge indicated. See the auxiliary generators are functionally properly with the batteries receiving the charge. See that all the engine on the line with the operating throttle with the reverse lever opposition generator field switch open with the on locomotives equipped. To check the each of, each of the diesel engines to see the the running speed of the corresponding with the throttle position. The steam generator provided are to be operated with the start of the steam generator for the units required. Note that a steam generator should not be operated for the uh, on a unit more than several minutes unless the units unless each one of the auxiliary during the units is in service. When required, a departure of the tab of the uh, test for the cap signal must be made, but the required for the departure tra test of the train phone must be made. When proper main reserve pressure obtained with the test air brakes, to see that the function properly with both ends in all position of the brake valve of the safety control equipment and cutting an operative. Um, both before attempting to move the locomotive, see that the shocks and the chains are removed from the under the wheels and the handbrakes are fully released in all the units. And gin cooling water temperature should be at least 125 degrees before operating load under load. Cap signal set. Cap signal circuits are supplied with a 32 volt power for the motor, ge motor generator set. The set operated with the battery auxiliary generator circuit the set through a 50 ampere thermal overload circuit of the breaker. The 32 volt output for the motor generator set is normal setup. A normal supply of the cap signal equipment, the teller, train phone, and headlight. Charging ends. Changing ends. The chain of the operating end. The following procedure should be followed. See, see that the throttle lever is in idle position. Use the transition lever to use the off position. Remove the reverse le lever to the off position. Make a full surface brake protect brake pipe reduction at least 20 pounds. Close the double heading cock to remove the automatic brake valve handle into the run position. Pa place the rotary valve in the passenger or lap position. Remove the independent brake valve handle to the release and running position. Open the generator field switch, which when provided with open the sw open the control switch. Open the fuel pump switch provided with acceptance on some class of the fuel pump switch. Must be left closed until the fuel pump switch on the other end is closed, after which it must be opened and proceed to end of the being cut and closed. Control switch, close the fuel pump switch when provided, place the reverse lever in place, lever on position, off position. See the throttle lever in the idle position, see the transition lever when used in the off position, put the independent brake valve handle in the place, move the fuel application position, place the rotary valve in the air passenger position, most, uh, put, put the automatic brake valve handle in the place and leave within the running position, open the double heading clock, double heading cock slowly to move the locomotive. Um, close the generator field switch when provided with the reverse level in the forward reverse position. Transition level the provided the number one position. On the class, the transition level the provided with the automatic transition. Being used, the transition lever should be placed in the position specified by the technical class of the locomotive after any of the shifting movements must be completed with on-class for the locomotive manual transition. Being used, the movement of the transition lever should be made to indicate the locating indicating, indicating ammeter. Hold either the dead man pedal or automatic brake valve handle in the depressed position to prevent dead man operation. Release all the brakes. Oper open the throttle in the first notch. Note that the amperage is indicated with the load am ammeter to open the throttle, gradually passing each of the position long enough to permit the load and ammeter point of the cell standing. Ready, reading, reading until the locomotive starts to flow. Move forward. Every movement of the throttle lever depends on the proper handle of the train due to the slag action permissible speed. Um, during the standing of the acceleration load, a major point may be moved in the red portion of the scale without any restriction that desired in order to permit the high tractive effort. 
Our road operation. During the operation over the road, the load amity point must be kept in the white portion of the scale, except for the, under the conditions prescribed under each of the classes. And brake train, when the braking of the train slows down to the top, the brake may be applied with the using the power half with the throttle lever should be placed in the lower notch while braking, while braking or powering must be shut off before the stop is completed. When crossing the railroads of grade, uh, the throttle lever must be placed in the low notch to prevent arcing between the traction motor brush and the communicator. Locomotive must not be operated through the water deep enough for the um, tough to touch the traction motor when the passing through the water to the level of the railhead to reduce speed of the knot over 55 miles an hour. The reverse lever must not be moved the position operating with the operation direction while the locomotive is in motion. When leaving the locomotive cab, the reserve lever must be removed and the opposition care must be exercised to prevent operating the emergency except uh, engine and stop except for the emergency. The emergency engine stop is operated with the pushing of the stop button on some classes while on the other class, the class of the throttle lever incorporates the top position which is made available Positioning, unlatching bottom of the end of the throttle lever where the emergency engine stops and operated, all diesel engine and locomotives will stop. On class of locomotives incorporating dynamic braking, the train speed must be may be controlled by using the following manner. When the throttle lever in the idle position move the transition lever, the class is equipped with the opposition move the reverse lever back to the lever to braking position with the provider of the pause until the train slack is adjusted. More, more tram move the transition lever to the class with the equipped with the B position. Low to ammeter will indicate the amount of the braking. The current will be generated with the traction motor if the current is below the maximum speed for the braking after the required move the transition lever. The throttle lever on the class with the throttle lever to use the purpose of the braking zone. The speed decreases, uh, speed decreases with the traction motor braking current will decrease the lever may be moved forward to the braking zone may be, be careful not to exceed the maximum permissible current the dynamic braking warning limit light will limit the maximum permissible current exceeding the any of the unit any unit if the train cannot be properly controlled by the using the dynamic brake alone the automatic air brake may be applied with the supplement the keeping the locomotives released and they avoid the wheel slip it will slide Diesel electric locomotives equipped with the wheel slip the radiator to operate with the reduced power output. The diesel engine with the wheel slipping and curved lightly indicating light will operate in the buzzer to both. When the wheeling slipping stop the relays, the reset automatically slipping condition minor with no action needed to be taken out with the slipping continues. The all lever position should be reduced and sand should be applied with an infinite of the use of the sand should be restricted to absolute necessity. Do not apply sand while the wheels are slipping. If necessary, to pump the air faster with the locomotive sanding at the drifting in place of the reverse lever on the off position, open the generator field switch on the when I'm so equipped, move throttle lever to the position to obtain the pumping rate required. All right, isolating a diesel engine. Multiple unit control several diesel engine locomotives being completely through, a, through an isolation switch located in the engine control panel. The, each of the diesel engine permits one or more of the engines to remove the multiple control, um, multiple unit control. This is known as the isolating engine. This is done in operating the isolation switch. The isolation position. The engine is removed from the multiple control. Operates at idle speed. The act of the returning of the engine to operation with the, under the multiple unit control is known as the engine on the on the line. Accomplished by the moving isolation switch to the run position. If the engine to be stopped should be first isolated, then and stop the switch, and then bottom bottom when provided that should be operated with the isolation switch turned off the position. On locomotive so equipped, the engine has been stopped with the fuel pump the switch should be placed in the opposition. Ground relay operational. Ground relay operators must be reset manually. Um, before resetting the ground relay on the diesel engine must be isolated. If the after several repeated operations the relay fails to remain reset, the diesel engine should be left offline, off the, left off of the line. If necessary, in order to handle the train to operate the diesel engine involved with the traction motor cutout switch the provided in the sum class to cut out the traction motor and cutting out the traction motor eliminates the ground condition. The diesel engine may be restored to serve the operating the remaining the traction motor if, however, the condition cannot be overcome but in this manner. Manually ground relay cutout switch is provided which prevents the further operation of the ground relay. The cutout switch is then sealed but it should be operated in a only in, usual, uh, in an unusual emergency proper to report made in the seal and broken out the board. The diesel engine must be left offline. Or if the traction motor is cut in route with the engine um, left to off of the line due to the ground relay operation, the ground relay cut out with the millions of the manual ground relay cut out switch, the message must be sent. The superintendent inspection of the traction motor must be made with the first terminal when component competent employees are available. Safety control uh, operation. After the safety control operation occurs due to the emergency dead man locomotive the overspeed when the emergency application of the brake occurred with any other four other causes in order to restore the power of the locomotive the throttle have levered that must be returned to the idle position of the dead man pedal will depress the automatic brake valve handle placed in the lap position until the brake reduction is completed after the brakes may be released in the normal manner. If unable to recover the safety control application of the brakes and if the safety control application occurred, the dead man pedal with the held down the slow speed um, below the maximum permitted 
added. Um, safety features may be cut to provide it after the safety features are cut out with the engine is not alone with the operating end but while the train is in motion a report of the superintendent must be made without delay of the train the delay of the train leaving the locomotive of the temperature to leave the locomotive of the unintended as terminal weather conditions permitting all diesel engines shall be shut off the down battery switch is open and lightning switch open and the units have been and lights not connected through the battery switch the air brakes shall be released and the hand brakes applied when necessary to the needles are choked shocked should be chocked Freezing weather precautions. During freezing weather, in order to prevent freezing of the locomotive water system, on locomotives equipped with the steam generator, at least one of the steam generators should keep it in service together with the diesel engine from the same unit. The necessary valves are operated with the furnace of the steam for the water supply tanks on the locomotive. The other steam generated diesel engine with the locomotive that are not operating on locomotives equipped with the standby heater of the diesel engine and shut down the standby heater should be operated. If the steam of the local plant is available, the connection can be made with the steam train line with the locomotives are equipped with the necessary valve to operate with the locomotive of the steam used to prevent freezing of the locomotive water system. If the plant steam is used, it will not be necessary to operate the diesel engine stand by the heaters and steam generator on the locomotive. If the diesel engine are shut down with the steam that's not available, the standby heaters are not provided. All water must be drained from the locomotive. Are the indication result abnormal condition various classes? High cooling water temperature, lube oil pressure, high lube oil, section wheel, slipping ground, relay operation, dead operation, dead engine, diesel engine, overspeed, locomotive overspeed, and on AC voltage, low, low oil, low governor oil pressure, steam generator shut down, emergency brake application, radiator fan, fan stop, traction motor blower stop, engine stop, excessive dynamic braking. Um, section 2, oil fired steam generators.